Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Pub Nines. I'm the Halo Chick, and we are outside Foxy Boxes. Just in case you forgot where it is, here's the asylum, and here's the diner. It's right across uh, the street from the diner. And uh, if it, just in case you don't forget, I'll tell you how we got here. Um, we talked to Knox, and he said that his master is actually Bertram Tong, who we've been looking for all this time. And he was tailing this Asian vampire or vampire-like creature. And the creature got wise of him and started stalking him and freaking him out. So he asked us to, um, or we offered, that is, to take it out for him. So we trailed him to Foxy Boxes. And now, you see, we have this computer. And the reports, normally I don't go through stuff like this, but um, these are actually very funny, so I will go through them for you. Okay, here he's saying um, that he notices that the vampires are at some kind of dispute or war with each other. I'll just do little summaries of what they say. Okay, now he's referring to the vampires as canines, so it seems like he definitely is some supernatural creature. And he's referring to them as a different race from him, so maybe he is not exactly a vampire. And apparently his people want to take over the city by using the infighting that's going on uh, to their advantage. And now he's noticing that Knox noticed him. Or he's noticing that um, Bertram noticed him anyway and sent Knox to watch him. Okay. And now... We're going to be interested to see these. I've drawn the intention of a newcomer, an agent of the prince. So now he knows that we're after him. This guy obviously uh, kind of knows what's going on. He will prepare himself in case our paths cross. Oh, they're about to. Wow, this guy's fast. He already knew that we found Virgil Crumb's uh, body. Okay. So now he's basically left a message just in case he dies telling the other people of his uh of his race that uh this place will be easy to take over. Uh so yeah, we're we're not letting that happen. So let's whip out our severed arm. <laughs> and uh one of the most annoying fights in the game, ladies and gentlemen, the Asian vampire. And he is annoying because he hops. He has two weapons. He has a katana. And that was his uh, crossbow going off. So he basically, he hops all over the place. He's hard to get a hold of. I tend to just stay on, you know, on solid ground and wait for him to come near me. And then I get a couple of whacks in on him. Uh, this, this fight does take a while. Even, even, like I said, you know, even without my god mode, I... It takes forever because if you if you hesitate even one second in trying to hit him, he will take that opportunity to jump and out of your way. And if you try to, like, you know, climb up that ladder and get up to him, by the time you get up there, he's already somewhere else. So I always suggest just staying on the ground and just waiting for him to come down. It's a waiting game. And um, you can use these boxes to dodge his arrows. Yeah, see, the moment he hit me back, he took that opportunity to jump away. But, um, you know, if you, if you land your hits well enough, you can keep him down uh, on ground level for an extended period of time and, and get some good hits in on him. You see, what, what my strategy is for kind of getting him is when I do knock him down, I start h hitting before he gets up so that when he does get up I will hit him and stun him again and that kind of keeps him on the ground. I'll show you what I I'll show you exactly what I mean uh, if you haven't caught it already the next time he gets down to the ground. Oh. 
got some good hits on him that time. This is actually going a lot faster than it normally does for me, believe it or not. I know this is going kind of slow. He's staying on ground level with me far more often than uh, he normally does. That's for sure. Okay, I'm just checking the time. We'll definitely have time to finish this fight. Yeah, see? See, he knocked down, but I'm still hitting so that this way, as soon as he gets up, I have another slap waiting for him. You can keep him on the ground for a pretty extended period of time that way. And then, you know, just hide behind boxes when he goes up to one of the ledges and starts shooting arrows at you. Uh, and you should be fine. So, some very rare battle strategy coming straight from me. And... The camera angles got screwy for a second there. I've almost got him. There he goes. Um, now... He, uh, there are, s I don't know what is up with his weapons. When I first played this game, he actually dropped his katana and I was able to take it. Um, I've seen some videos where he's dropped both his katana and his bow and arrow. Uh, I have no idea <laughs> what's up with that. But uh, uh, the past couple of times I've played through this game, both with different sets of uh, versions of the official, the unofficial patch, I've never gotten any weapons from him. So that's the end of the Asian Vampire. All we have left to do to finish this quest is to go back to Knox and turn the quest in, and then we will be good to go meet Bertram. Uh, I should be able to take care of all of that uh, in this video, actually. That would, that would be uh, ideal, I think. And going to Cenox will be the last time that we have to enter into the asylum. Once you're done with Jeanette and Therese and you have that, uh, y you know, when you find out that they're both the same person and that whole thing goes down, there's no need to come back to the club unless you want, you know, the blood doll or something like that, which I do not need. Yo, girl, you do that thing yet? I did. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Do you have any idea what that thing was? That's interesting. I'd better be going. Uh, if you do find the idea of these vampire-like creatures showing up, uh, we will be learning lots more about them later in the game. Uh, much, much later in the game. Uh, since he said they are, you know, from China, and uh, you are aware that we will be going to Chinatown at some point in the game. Uh, yeah, when we get to Chinatown, we'll be learning a lot more about uh, these Asian vampire-like creatures. So, uh, let's see. We, I think we got some time. Oh, the rain! The rain it lags me so much. Okay, so if you remember, Jeanette and Therese told us that Bertram is hiding out in this oil drum. Let me get in here now. Now, before we see Bertram, actually, let's take, uh... You know what? No, I'll do that in the next video. Here, ladies and gentlemen... Finally, is the elusive Bertram Tong. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? You knew I was looking for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Hmm. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. You must be Bertram Tong. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. You do? 
News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. That's great. So you know I survived. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to that warehouse for Mercurio. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I don't know what's up with that one. I've been watching the place. The Sabat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Alright, you know what? Let's talk a little bit with Bertram before we end this video. Um, just humans? As far as I can tell. The humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. They know they're working for vampires? Yeah. The Sabbat like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. You know, I think that from now on in the videos, I will start asking people, um... Lots more questions. Mercurio and um, the only two other two people that you can really dig into questions for is Mercurio and, um, you know, Knox. You can ask a couple of questions. They just say basic generic stuff. But I think from now on, I'm going to start really delving into the questions that you can ask some of these characters. Um, but the last thing that we need to ask Bertram is, uh, can you get me in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. I, uh, now you can say let me get a few things together first and finish up any other business that you have uh, in Santa Monica, but I've got all I need right now, so I was born ready. Let's go. Okay, once you choose that, it's going to take us to uh, the warehouse. We have to go through... Uh, the sewers to get there. Um, Bertram leads us through the sewers there. And uh, I'm going to end the video uh, here. Because, like I said, I, I filmed this once before. <laughs> Did not turn out well. <laughs> uh, because I, I completely, I, I got so involved because this is a kind of a longish place that's uh, I think I'm going to cut the video into two segments. I'll have to see how fast I can get through it. It's going to take me a while to get through it, though, because there's a lot of enemies in here. So it will probably be broken up into two videos because the ending, the end part of this, as you can imagine, since we have to plant an explosive, once we plant the explosive, we have three minutes to get out of here. It's, uh, a and there is a very nasty, um, surprise when you're trying to escape which i will cover when we get to that point but anyway for now i'm going to end this video and next time we will go into this warehouse and finally blow it up and prove to lacroix that we are worthy of our vampire